All right, welcome to Cribs. So this is uh, my Nevada deer hunt, 2021. And uh, Brandon and I are gonna give you a little tour of our setup. So we are camp centrally located in the unit. It's a truck camp spot. So we got Brandon's 4Runner right here with the ATV, extra gas, which is critical. Um, we got my truck here. ATV in the back. There's a bunch of rough roads in this unit, so uh, those have become rather critical. I hate doing a trailer, so I just throw mine in the back of the bed. Makes it a little cramped on room, but I like it. These are uh, our camp chairs. These guys have been making fun of me because I think they were like the best selling ones on Amazon. And a nice camp chair is important. So I think these are like 20 bucks more than the standard one, and I think they're well worth it. Hanging a little trash can back there. That's nice. Got our Yeti coolers. Today's warm, but it's been super cool on this hunt. And um, so we got big ice blocks and our food staying nice. Um, I've actually found these Yeti bags hold ice better than, than the coolers. So I got a block in here and then and then uh, ice for drinks or whatever. Um, and then like our deli meats and sausages and stuff like that are in here. So you what, these Yeti boxes, I thought they were kind of silly, but I think they're sweet. So have all our ratchets in here, bungee cords, jumper cables, all that. I keep that in my, the back of my truck every single day. Even throughout the off season, I'll just lock it to, to my uh, hitch thing. Brandon, why don't you give them a little tour of our uh, cooking setup? We've been eating pretty good. This is Brandon's, what is this, Camp Chef? Just a little Coleman two burner propane stove. Super simple. It's a porter cup, uh, cut pastas and browvers. That's our go-to. We've been eating like chicken and apple sausages, um, a bunch of tortellinis and stuff. We cook up our pasta here. Um, can't go anywhere without the best pesto. Everybody knows when you hunt with porter, you're gonna eat some pesto. This is my favorite too, the classico. Bezo pesto. Bezo pesto. Uh, this is Brandon's tool setup, which is always nice. He keeps everything very, very good. He, he, he keeps a, a tight camp. Um, Brandon? No, go ahead. Why don't you give him a little tour go of your ahead. section? Go well, ahead. give him a, what is, this is your tent. What is this? Kodiak canvas. How big? 10 by 14. 10 by 14. It takes him maybe 12 minutes to put this thing up. It's unbelievable. Come into our crib. See, touch that wasp. Oh yeah, the wasp are nasty. I got it. You want me to get it for you, bud? No, I'll get it. Yeah, good shot, good shot. Warning shot. Still alive. Still it's alive. not still alive. Right Where you, is right it? Right behind you, right behind you. God, what are you doing? You hit it. <laughs> See, there's three of them in here now. Hope we shoot better tonight. Okay, uh, so this is Brandon's. I'm doing yours. Yeah. I'm so this is stung by a This is Brandon's cot. Very nice cot. Now I'll tell you what. He's been sleeping in his tidy whities because of this setup he's got. He's got blankets on blankets. It's been getting really cold. A couple of nights it was like 15, 16 degrees was the low. So it got pretty chilly. Um, he's got all these blankets. If you're gonna truck camp, this is one thing I've learned from him. Don't be shy in the blankets. Uh, you'll see my setup over here. More of a backcountry hybrid thing. So I tried to copy his style here. Um, Cause you want a little bit of insulation. You want a separation from your sleeping bag to the cot. Cause these do sleep cold because there's nothing here. You, you're off the ground. So the air down there. Um, so mine's a little bit of a hybrid. I'm definitely jealous of his. Um, this is a zero degree marmot bag. Um, which has been sleeping nice. I've got my, I finally started to figure this thing out. So I'm putting my head in here, pillow down there. Um, let's see, uh, put our stuff underneath there. I probably use two different boots. I got my Scarpas for when, when it was snowing. A little bit, 200 grams of insulation. And these are my Hanwags, which I love. It's a little bit warmer out. Don't go hunting ever without some camp Crocs. These guys are all walking around jealous. They're in their boots. It's, eight o'clock at night cooking dinner and they're like, oh, look at you, Porter, you're in the Crocs. You look so comfy. Well, I am. These, I'll take these in the back country too. They weigh nothing, amazing. Uh, look it, let me tell you something. This thing right here, fantastic little dish, okay? Put a cup of hot water in there on a cold day. It'll cheer you right up. I'm a big hydration guy. So these things, throw these in your water bottle. 
don't know, they say they work. I don't know if they do, but these things, I like them. If you want some coffee, stir some coffee in there. Always like some extra stuff there. Got plenty of water. If I'm in a truck camp, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring in some good stuff. This is uh, Logan, our camera guy. He's got a good system. I actually brought this for Branson, another buddy of ours who was supposed to come out and wasn't able to, I brought this for him. Well, now it's Logan's. Because he had this little dinky zero degree that was deflated. He's got his Zen, this is must have for him. I think he's taken about 16 cans. Um, he's got his pad here. He waits till we're really in the car in the morning before he actually gets out of bed. Um, he talks about it being very efficient. And I'm not playing. He will be snoring like this. And like Brandon and I are like, oh, okay, I got the truck hot, I got my contacts in, I mean, we're ready to go. He goes, he wakes up. Okay, are we ready? Cool. He literally rolls out with his pants and jacket on, goes like this with his feet, and walks out the door. I've never seen anything like it. It's absolutely insane. Um, little brownie lantern. I always have a good lantern. That thing's dope. A uh, little propane heater that Brandon has. Keeps the thing warm. He kicks that on in the evenings and in the mornings. Comes in real handy. I'm calling out. This is our front porch. What else we got? About it. We got two fire. Whoa. I mean, there's a the surprise, which I'm gonna show them in a second. But we got two fire pits. We got a beautiful view. Come on down here. This is the secret weapon. Axe. That's always nice to have around camp. Fire pit. A great little spot. Beautiful. Look at that, through the trees. The best toilet I have ever used in my life. Look at this view. Look at this. Come right in here. I mean, I'll tell you what, this is, this wasn't ours. This is an old outdoor camp or something, but holy cow, this right here, is a game changer. You know, you know, you sit down and squat next to a tree, which is fine. This right here, one of the greatest luxuries in life. And look at this view. It's gorgeous. And you got on the toilet, you got cell phone service. Best camp spot we've ever been to because of that thing right there. Secret. That's our cribs. Thanks for joining. <laughs>